Hey, Simpson, I'm feeling a mite peckish. Mind if I chew your ear? <gasps> Dad, you killed the zombie Flanders. He was a zombie? Welcome to the Mad House. Good morning, my fellow gig workers and side hustle champions. The one and only Matt Dasher is back at it again. Rise and shine. It is 6.16 in the morning. Early bird gets the worm, baby. Let's go, let's go. You know, fall is my favorite season by far, no question. But the, the thing is, though, about this time of year in New England is that <laughs> I originally woke up at five o'clock in the morning and it was pitch dark. I mean, there was, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. So I went back to sleep for an hour. I figured no one would be awake. Um, six o'clock in the morning, the sun is just barely coming out. It looks really cool with the mist, um, going over the bridge of the Assabat River. Man, looks absolutely cool. Uh, amazing, uh, but um, man, it's dark. I don't like it. It's it's dark early in the morning, and it gets dark uh, early at night. So it's just dark all the time. It's just dark all the time. At least in the summer, it's light early in the morning, and it's and it gets and it's light all the way to the end until like nine o'clock. Either way, though. We're hungry for snacks, and we're getting those stacks, baby. So we're going to be going live in a minute here uh, and see what we can do for this Sunday. I'm in the mood to make some money. So let's do it. Let's go. All right. Stopped off in Bedford. Uh, we <laughs> we had a schedule at 530, but like I said, I didn't wake up uh, then. It was, too, it was too dark in the morning. So we don't have a schedule until 8 o'clock. Uh, we are gold, so we can't dash now. Um, the only place that is available currently is Billerica. I could dash now, or I could turn on Uber Eats. Uh, I'll probably turn on Uber Eats, and if I don't get anything, I'll dash now to Billerica. Uh, and then we'll wait until I have a scheduled time until uh, 8 o'clock in Burlington. But, man, it is early. It feels a lot earlier in the winter when it's dark out compared to when it's uh like summer i can wake up at like five o'clock doesn't really feel that early uh plus it's sunday uh, i think i think usually things open up earlier on saturday but either either way we'll see what we can get all right so i turned on burgers uh, i turned on <laughs> not burgers bagel i turned on uber eats and it gave me a burgers bagel uh five for 2.7 so we're gonna do that real quick um, I'd rather not travel to Uberica or Concord or something like that to do DoorDash if I can avoid it. I'd rather just do Uber Eats for the next like hour and a half until I get a schedule um, at eight in Burlington and then we'll make some money on DoorDash. So let me go grab this uh, Burger's Bagel. just dropped off that order he came outside even though it said leave it at the door so I couldn't record uh, I picked up this uh, Starbucks order going to Burlington I know it says five miles for or five dollars for six miles get out of the way oh my god I almost just ran over a squirrel um, I, I I know it says five dollars for six miles but um, most of those miles are going towards uh, Burlington anyway plus in the morning you got to just grind out these orders you're really not going to get a lot of good orders, so you might as well just like grind them out. So let's go over there. So I was like, no way. Like,
just dropped off that order. Just noticed, just noticed, they opened up an Anna's Taqueria in Woburn. That's really bad news for me because I literally used to live off of Anna's in Alston and they don't have one around, they haven't had one around this area and they finally just opened one. Woo, baby. Uh, just accepted this shopper on Uber Eats, 18 for seven miles for 16 items. Uh, we also have a quest, we have a quest for Uber Eats, five, five shopping pays and you get $15. So definitely looking to do that today. Uh, but I like this order. It's a good order to get in the morning. So let's go over there. Oh, and uh, definitely eating Anna's Taqueria later. Definitely. Unfortunately, when I, when I brought it there, it was to a hotel and uh, they didn't have any carts and it was a 24 pack of water and the sodas and I didn't want to, I didn't want to have her make two trips and so I offered to help so I brought it up to her room. Uh, she was asking for recommendations to like uh, restaurants because she was on conference here and uh, I couldn't remember a single one from the North End. She wanted to know about Italian place in the North End and uh, I couldn't, I couldn't remember anything for the life of me but it's okay that order took a while because of because of the hotel the hotel really took up most of the time i shopped for it pretty quick and i brought it there pretty quick but then i had to wait for it to come down and then i had to uh, help her into the uh all the way into the room that took a while it took like 20 minutes or something uh, but in in total it took like 45 minutes 45 to 50 minutes for that order so whatever we'll see what else we get i turned on doordash um, and then I paused it because we were scheduled for eight. Uh, and then and I just unpaused it. So let's see if we can get some DoorDash. We need six more orders to get our platinum back, so. $14 for you know like six miles or whatever that little diner was so cute it had like these uh these uh older folks that were like regulars uh I think it was like an entire family that was that was working there it was really cute we just picked up this 11 for five on Uber Eats we're cruising baby we're just we're we're you, you, when it comes to the morning, you gotta just take all the orders you can, kind of just grind it out, and then wait until month until uh, midday, and then you get the, the lunch day rush, and then you start making snacks, day, baby. You start eating the snacks and getting the snacks. Uh, I gotta pay attention to where I'm going though. So uh, yeah, let's go there. Turn DoorDash back on. One of the customer's notes on that last order. Uh, I'll actually do this one because I want I want the shoppers. Six for 4.9, it's one, one unit. I will do that. Anyway, anyway, so yeah, I picked up that, that shopper because it's one item, six for five miles. 
Uh, we have a we have a quest. If you do five shoppers, you get an extra fifteen dollars. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for that. Um, but anyway, the note that the customer left said, "No knocking. It scares the cat. Then she gets weird." Thanks. <laughs> Love it. Just dropped off that certified banger. That 14 for 5.6, it actually, not only was it a certified banger, it brought me back to Burlington, which is, woo, chef's kiss. Uh, we picked up this uh, Target one because uh, I, I wanna finish the quest. I wanna finish the quest for the three shoppers to get the extra $15. Plus it's not a bad order and I like, I, I, I kinda like shopping in Target. Don't, don't don't tell my girlfriend, but I like shopping in Target. Anyway, uh, let's go over there. I bet she wasn't watching because she's like taking a nap or something. shoppers uh, I think we need one more we either completed it or we need one more to complete the the, the five quests that we need uh, for the extra $15 which is awesome um, I just picked up these this like uh, this bundle order here pretty good I forgot what the first one was I think it was like eight for five or something I don't remember the, the second one's nine dollars for an additional five miles I'll actually take that one it's not it's not lunch yet so uh, when I when I dropped off that order there was a sign that said do not leave packages here and then there was just like 20 packages underneath the sign it's so hilarious anyway let's just go get this next order <laughs> pregnancy test hopefully it's the answer they're looking for I don't know which one obviously because I don't know them I'm just a delivery guy we did uh, I did want to get out of this area and go back to Burlington but uh Uber Eats uh, decided to give me a certified banger baby we're obviously taking that and then we'll get out of here and I gotta start taking some DoorDash I gotta start taking some DoorDash I need the numbers I need the numbers The, uh, absolute garbage order from from DoorDash. Uh, DoorDash has been really bad lately. 
Uh, Uber, on the other hand, has been absolutely amazing today. I just noticed, so that, that quest that we were on where I said it's an extra $15 for five shopping pays, um, I, I did that and we did get the $15 promotion. However, we also got a $20 promotion for the same five orders. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that, but literally they both say you get $20 and then $15 for five shopping pays. So basically for five shopping pays, I got 35 extra dollars. Unless for some reason later on they take it away as a mistake, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> the, as of right now, I got 35 extra dollars for five shopping pays. And that lady who I helped uh, bring water up to her room, she tipped $20. She over tipped me because I helped her to the room. So, so far we're at like a crazy number for Uber Eats. And then we have like $26 for DoorDash. So we're like close to like $200 for like six, six and a half, seven hours, which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna keep the momentum going and then probably get Anna Stockeria more like 2.30-ish. Uh, Cause I wanna let, I wanna let the, the apps run hot if they're running hot. So I'm gonna turn Uber Eats back on. Well, <laughs> that DoorDash order was absolutely horrendous. Um, it was 18 minutes there and 18 minutes back because there was nothing there. Making a ton of money on Uber Eats and DoorDash is just holding me back, honestly. It, it sucks, it's rough. DoorDash has been very bad. Uh, it put me in a bad mood, so I'm gonna go get some food because I'm a little hangry now. So I'm gonna get some Anastasia uh, and then go from there. I don't know how much more DoorDash I'm gonna do because if Uber Eats continues to give me good orders, I don't I don't wanna continue accepting bad orders from DoorDash. It's not a good feeling to take bad bad DoorDash orders. It just isn't. Alright! I after like a long time trying to like drive around waiting for like DoorDash to allow me to work, I finally said dash along the way to Waltham and it gave me an order in Lexington before I even got to Waltham which is awesome and it's technically a certified banger uh, this is the last order that we need to get platinum so hopefully we'll be doing better once we get platinum after this order uh, Anna's Taqueria oh my god so good that I'm probably getting uh, another burrito uh, for dinner later on later tonight Finally got platinum back. Uh, we're back in Burlington. Such a such an amazing waste of time <laughs> doing these orders. We just picked up this Regina pizzas. I don't want to go in the mall, but I also have like no AR, and I really can't deny decline any orders. I don't want to lose my platinum again. So we're gonna do it. I mean, it's three it's three thirty, so it's a slow time anyway. You know, I'm probably not gonna get all the best orders right now anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this 1150. Uh, I just I just went on a complete, absolute tyrant of a rant about how that person ordered a 12 pack of soda for like 24, $25 and how he, people need to stop spending money that they don't have. Anyway, I'm moving on from it. <laughs> Getting back into positivity and making stacks, baby. Remember, you're allowed to vent. 
You're allowed to have moments. I'm not saying you're not allowed to have moments. You're absolutely allowed to have moments. You just gotta move on from it. And that's what we're doing. We're moving on. We're moving on, baby. Karen Gate called me and demanded all this, all this stuff. those orders took a long time uh it is basically five o'clock so dinner rush is starting just picked up this certified i think it's a certified banger actually i don't remember it might not be maybe it's not if it's nine for five it's not i forgot what it was it might have been a nine for four if it's nine for four it's a certified banger if it's nine for five it's not but it's still a banger either way i picked this up from panera this is gonna start off our dinner shift let's see what else we can make for dinner baby let's go we're making them stacks just dropped off that uh, that order uh, it is 623 and we still got plenty of time for dinner I don't know how much more I'm gonna be doing uh, but we are probably at like 250 right now I'm not sure I, I could be less than that I don't know but let's see what else we can get I'm gonna go back to Burlington now because we've been in Waltham order uh it was a nice last order a uh, little girl ran up and said what as the mom answered and she goes let me see let me see and it was cute because i was delivering flowers and they had that like interesting uh uh <laughs> like clown thing in the in the in the beginning um just did math uh during the live for how much i made uh rough estimate is like 326 dollars which Hey, that's a lot better than I thought it was. I thought we only did like 260, but I, I forgot about the other dashes I did uh, with DoorDash. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, $326 for the day, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we worked for 13 hours. Although I did take some breaks, a couple of little small breaks, a lunch break, whatever. Uh, 13 hours, so I don't know the math on that. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I hope you enjoyed uh, Sunday. If you were with the live, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't joined on the lives, make sure to check me out next time I go live. And I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Thank you to all my members. I'll catch you in the next one. Mad Dasher, out. <laughs>